YouTube. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. This is the Tuesday edition and I am Banded Wendy. It is September 22nd, 2009. Thanks for stopping in to watch the channel. Today's topic is what I ate today. And I apologize. I did a video montage with pictures of everything I ate and for whatever reason I couldn't get it on this particular Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works channel. So I'm going to adapt my plan and uh, try to show you some of the things that I ate today. Um, so that's coming. Um, the other question or topic of this week is what is your favorite uh, post-op weight loss surgery meal? Why and uh, you know what is it? And I have to say at this point 26 weeks post-op I don't specifically have one favorite meal but what works for me that I enjoy is anything that I can eat that uh, has enough protein in it, does not hurt or cause me uh, any discomfort or pain when I eat it, uh, is a nutritious, healthy choice, and I can eat a good quantity of it uh, and feel satisfied. It doesn't get stuck. It doesn't come back up. So any food or meal that meets those requirements makes Wendy a happy girl. Uh, so, with that said, I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I eat on a regular basis and or what I ate today. I'm missing my lunch. Um, so for lunch, I'll share with you, I had a, a shrimp ceviche, and I only ate the shrimp, and it's uh, about 30 baby, sh uh, small, very small, maybe baby shrimp in there. And I had two tablespoons worth of tuna salad. That's it. So 30 baby shrimp and two tablespoons of uh, tuna salad. So I'm going to move you. Here we go. I really do hope that you can see everything, but I think it's kind of cool to see what we're eating. So I'm currently taking this Body Effects, uh, and it is a fat-burning, energy-boosting, appetite-suppressing mood enhancer. And I mix uh, one big scoop of that with uh, one cup of water, and I drink that every morning. And then I have an array of vitamins and supplements I take care of. My daily vitamin from Bariatric Advantage, my DHA fish oil, my biotin for my hair, some omega-3s, and also my fiber choice. And those all have calories, some have carbs, uh, so you want to calculate those type of things into your mix. Then, of course, I have my diet Snapple and my yogurt, my Greek yogurt that I like to have. And in addition to that, I'm mixing some berries and some granola. Love that for breakfast. Over here, I have my smart water. Don't leave home without that smart water. Uh, this is what i am had for dinner tonight. It is a, a skinless, bone-in turkey breast that I made in the crock pot. Very delicious. I only ate two ounces of it. Uh, very low calories and carbs and good uh, amount of protein for just two ounces. And then also, one of my favorites is a green bean casserole. I know, my boyfriend says we had Thanksgiving last night. Um, and the green bean casserole is a fat-free mushroom soup, green beans, and the uh, French's uh, onions. So, with that said, my, here we go back up here, hopefully you can still see me. With that said, I have, oh, and I also had um, two today. Venti uh, non-fat tea mistos uh, from Starbucks, and I had two of those throughout the day. So in total, I had 769 calories, I had 22 grams of fat, I had 88 carbs, and carbs are always a problem for me. I, I really don't know um, off the top of my head what is the right recommendation for a lap band person or weight loss surgery person or any person, uh, quantity of carbs, but that's always very high for me. Um, and then I had 99 grams of protein today, 99 grams of protein. So an additional thought that I want to put out there is that, you know, there's a question of should I journal my food, should I not journal my food? And for me, um, 15 weeks, for solid 15 weeks post-op, I did it. Am I doing it now at 26 weeks post-op? Not regularly. Did I struggle with putting this video together and calculating all that car uh, nutritional information? Yes, I did. Does that mean I should probably do it more often? Probably so. Why do I think it's important? Uh, I think it's a component that we need to incorporate very early on uh, within this journey. 
For me, number one, when I first, first two weeks, I was keeping very good track of it so I could share it with my doctor because the number of calories I was consuming was not giving me enough energy to face my day and go back to work. So by being able to show him what I was eating, uh, he approved me to the next stage of eating. So I got to go to liquids and to mushies and mushies and to soft, you know, all the progression that goes with the uh, post-op. I got to move along that much quicker um, because of this information. Second, uh, for me personally, I find it as a wonderful tool to determine what foods work for me, meaning what foods can I eat and still lose weight. And then third, it just helps me get a mindset of what healthy choices are because I wouldn't be standing in front of this camera doing a proof weight loss surgery video works if I made smart choices before. So we have bad habits, at least I know I do, and we have to break those habits. And in order to break those habits, we have to create new habits. So is this something, you know, journaling your food and understanding the nutritional content, is it something you're gonna do 10 years from now? Probably not, really. But is it something you need to do early on uh, to get an understanding of what's smart and best for you in this journey? I think so. Uh, but it's, you know, that's my perspective. Everybody has a different one. So if you have a perspective on it, let me know. And if you know what, my doctor has never mentioned any, anything to me about carbs. And I don't work with a nutritionist. Um, so if you have comments on that, I'd like to know. Thanks for watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. We're at it seven days a week. We have a daily vlogger that shares their uh, opinion and outlook on all the topics. So feel free uh, and please turn in every night to take a look at us. Wishing you all the best. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.